Hi everyone, welcome to LMS, Department of Collegiate Education, Karnataka. I am here, Anand, Assistant Professor of English, Ramnagara, going to talk about Pygmalion by G.B. Shaw. It is prescribed for third semester BSc, Bangalore University. And this is the first session of this drama. And in this session, we are going to look at the introduction to the author, G.B. Shaw. And through this session, we are going to learn about author, his background, and also the issues expressed in his writing. Through this, the outcome is students going to learn the bi a biography of the author and also going to learn the concerns and issues expressed in his play, that is Pygmalion. Now, let me come to his biographical note. G.B. Shaw was an Irish playwright, critic, and a political activist. He influenced Western theatre, culture, and politics. And he became the leading dramatist of his generation. He wrote more than 60 plays, including the major ones, Man and the Superman, Pygmalion, Saint John, Major Barbara, The Doctor's Dilemma, and Caesar and Cleopatra. He incorporated the genre of satire and historical plays, allegories in his works. He used the tool of satire to express his concern for society and its issues. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1925. And his influence, he was influenced by Henrik Ibsen, an Irish writer, a playwright. And his way of thinking is called a new realism, which was introduced into English language drama. And he used his plays to disseminate the political, social and religious ideas. And he has joined the Gradualist Fabian Society and became its prominent pamphleteer. A Fabian Society is a group of people who have advanced to propagate the social or socialism and it became later on the radical socialism as such for equality in all aspects and in 1920s he renounced that fabian society also and turned his mind towards the dictatorships of the right and the left and also he admired Mussolini and stalin of russia and he has been regarded as second only to shakespeare as we know, Shakespeare is a great dramatist of all time from London or English literature. Similarly, we can consider G.B. Shaw as one of the prominent dramatists of all time. And the word Shavian has entered the language as encapsulating Shaw's ideas and meaning means of expressing them whatever his way of thinking or perspectives have been considered as savian uh, as such and again when we come to that uh, is a socialist already i told you in the previous slide and he used his writings as a mechanism for changing the society for the better life and to get rid of social and political vices. His plays are about important aspects in the contemporary society. And as we know already, he was influenced by Karl Marx's writings also. They are the leftist wing who strived for 
the working class or a proletariat class uh, for equality in all respects. And he called himself, Shaw called himself as a rationalist, a realist and anti-romantic. As we come to know from Pygmalion, some element of romanticism has been used but not much as we expected in the drama. As a socialist, he demands that all work should suitably paid for. As we know, the proletariat society or uh, the leftist wing strived for socialism and payment for the working class as such. And according to him, the most social injustice is done to women. And here in this drama as well, we can find how the societal perception or uh, middle class perception about the lady Eliza and also his social background from the poor class. And it exposes some of the problems of the lower class. So the main content of this session focuses on Shaw's background, his influence, his writings and his core concerns, whatever he has tried to express in this drama. Mainly, he mirrors the British society wherein the class hierarchies we can find how the perception of the upper class or middle upper class towards the lower class, uh, particularly the lady Eliza and, his, uh, and her father, how they perceive things, how they want to manipulate it. And also she becomes uh, one of the, like a puppet, like a doll in the hands of uh, Mr. Higgins, uh, thereby, expressing his, uh, con not a concern actually, it's about perception towards Eliza who belongs to the lower class uh, lover, vendor uh, actually. And it takes from the point of the phonetician and also the middle class, upper middle class person as uh, Mr. Higgins is and how is going to change uh, Eliza from the middle class, sorry, from the lower class and the towards the more allied appearance in form, not actually transition in an actual sense. That is what we are going to learn. And this uh, Pygmalion, the name Pygmalion, in fact, a king of Cyprus who makes a female figure of ivory that is brought to life for him by Aphrodite, that is, the ancient Greek goddess of sexual love and beauty. So he brings it back to life uh, as such. So Pygmalion is a person, in fact, is a king of Cyprus who tries to bring the lady into uh, back to life, in fact, to uh, have a nice uh, girl or a beautiful lady who can be an epitome of beauty. Uh, that is what the meaning of Pygmalion in this context, which is also used by G.B. Shaw to indicate how Mr. Higgins tries to change uh, Eliza from the flower seller to the Duchess. Thank you for watching.